Hello everyone, welcome back to A Message of Hope. My name is Monet Souza, and today I'm joined by my good friend, Mary Fran. And today we're talking about journeying with the saints. But before we jump into that topic, Mary Fran will open us up in a prayer. Yes, of course. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Dear Lord, today and every day, we thank you for the gift of our faith. Thank you for the gift of our beautiful church, for blessing us with powerful sacraments. Thank you for always being our friend and loving us unconditionally. Thank you for reminding us of the everlasting peace, joy, and hope we can find within you. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Son and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mary Fran. Of course. And welcome to A Message of Hope. And, you know, you. for everyone who's watching, they may not know who you are. Yeah. Um, so if you don't mind introducing yourself so we can get a sense of who you are as a person. Sure, definitely. Hey, everyone. My name is Mary Fran Hansen. I'm a 23-year-old young professional here in the city of Boston. I love being Catholic, <laughs> Same. Um, right? <laughs> I guess you could just say that I'm passionate about our life with Christ and how that journey looks beautifully different for everyone, but regardless, all coming to know his merciful love in the end is my favorite thing ever. It's incredible. <laughs> so I'm so excited to be here. Thank you yes. for having me. Of course. And thank you for your yes to coming on this show today and having an episode, not just a conversation between you and I, but also something that people watching can take a home, take home with them yeah. to better their faith life. So the topic today is journeying with the saints. Yes. I'm super excited for this topic. Me too. Um, and even like you said just now, you know, merciful love, mm. it automatically is making me think of 33 Days to Merciful Love by um, Father Michael Gately. Did it's you making do it? me think of, I did do it. Yes. I did it about a year ago and it's making Same. me, look at that. Same, like right around this time last year. Wow. And it's making me think of St. Therese. Oh, who I know wow. we're going to talk about today. My as, girl. Yep. Yes. <laughs> so talk to me why yeah. this was the topic that was on your heart of this is what I want to talk about today on A Message of Hope. Definitely. Well, um, the communion of saints is such a gift from mm -hmm. God. And part of the reasons why I love being Catholic so much that we yeah. have the privilege of understanding the saints and knowing them. Um, as I said in the beginning, I'm, you know, I'm passionate about mm -hmm. being Catholic, but I haven't always been outwardly passionate. And I think that's because I didn't fully understand the full truth and beauty of what our faith has to offer. Mm -hmm. And within the past couple of years, as I've grown in faith, that, you know, has changed. But one of the big pivotal factors of that was understanding sainthoods and becoming friends with these saints. They have helped evolve my faith journey so mm -hmm. much. And that's why I just, I really wanted to talk about them today because awesome. they, they're there, they're there waiting for us to call upon them and mm -hmm. to bring us closer to Christ, which is such a gift. Yes, exactly. So, and there's something that you and I spoke about, you know, before filming today, I think it was actually last night. And you know, a lot of people maybe who are watching, you don't have a relationship with the saints yet, or mm -hmm. people have a problem with Catholics because they think we put a saint or we put um, an apparition or we put Mary as our idol, or we right. put it as someone who we pray to or who we venerate, but it's, you no, know, these are people that we're journeying with, with who exactly. we're walking with and that, you know, it's not like there's a saint, say it's St. Therese, St. Joseph, whomever, mm -hmm. who's at the end of the finish line and we're walking to get to them. We're actually, this is who's at the end of the finish line in heaven who we're working towards, but the saint is walking the path with, with us. us. Exactly. And then once we have that realization, that mind shift, that whatever, mm -hmm. then we realize, yes, the fullness of the Catholic faith that we're not idolizing these saints Not at all. were actually looking for their aid and for their help to get us to the one that we honor and love the most, which exactly. is Christ. Exactly. It's kind of like, like, you know how in real life when you're getting to know someone mm -hmm. as like a good friend yep. and you kind of first start with those like early stages of just spending more time with each other. Mm -hmm. want, you know, you're intrigued and yes. you're like, you know, I think 
I would be friends with this person. <laughs> yeah. And so then you just naturally start spending more time and growing in friendship. And then all of a sudden, like one day, you just very naturally like have this moment of like, boom, we're best friends. How did I ever <laughs> live without you? Yes. <laughs> That's how I felt with the saints when I started getting mm-hmm. to know them and in specific St. Therese of Lisieux. That's how I felt. You know, that was my journey with her mm-hmm. of first starting off like, who, who is she? I've always known this idea of her. I knew her as a doctor of the church. I knew she represented roses and all of these things, but I never took the time to get to know her as my friend. And so I was just curious. I started reading about her life. I started watching videos about her on YouTube. And those were the, that was like that initial stage of friendship where I'm like, oh, like, I, girl, <laughs> you're, you're my friend. Like, I want to be, yes. fr- I want to be grow in deeper friendship with you. Mm-hmm. And um, then, you know, with that, I started wanting, you know, to understand the teachings of our faith that, mm-hmm. that she wrote. Yeah. And so I started diving into that. And that was the boom. Oh my gosh, we're best friends. How did I live my life without you, St. Trees? Yes. When I learned of the little way. Mm -hmm. Um, which is one of her teachings and her whole message of living an ordinary life, but with extraordinary faith, doing little things with great love. Mm -hmm. She made me realize because she was just like you and I, normal person going through the same struggles and trials and joys that we all do here on earth, Mm -hmm. but putting it into the perspective of Christ. And, um, through her teaching, I, you know, I related to that. I was like, wow, like this saint who I know she's up there in heaven with God. So she's done it. She's going, and she was going through this exact same feelings that I was feeling. And that's why I felt connected to her and was like, you know, this, I, I wanted, I could relate to her as my friend Mm -hmm. and, um, to know that she already paved this path for us. And I could look onto her for advice, for counsel, Mm -hmm. go to her and ask for that intercession. Like you were saying, I wasn't praying to St. Therese. I was Mm -hmm. praying with St. Therese, asking her to pray for me. Just as if, like, I would say, Monet, like, I, can you please pray for me? I'm going through Mm -hmm. this right now. You know, the same thing I did with St. Therese. And to recognize that we, you know, Right now I'm 24 Mm -hmm. and you're, you know, you're only a few months younger than me, but Mm -hmm. to even just see that she died at the age of 24. Yes. So to really, not to compare ourselves to the lives of the saints, but to see, wow, like, am I spending my time at home watching hours and hours of Netflix on end? Or am I like a, am I living out my sainthood now on this earth? Exactly. And putting Christ first because there's so much work to be done. Right. When, you know, sainthood is attainable for us now. Yeah. It wasn't just attainable for those like St. Therese or St. Joseph or St. John Vianney. It's for us here and now, like there's mm-hmm. work to be done. We can live um, good, holy lives and not waste this time away because Many, you know, myself included, many 24-year-olds right now are just doing pleasurable things or, Mm -hmm. you know, putting myself first, not God first, or, you know, there's a disordering of our passions or our time. But to look at St., you know, specifically St. Therese and be like, wow, she was 24 when she died. And look at this extensive life of love, of childlikeness, of trust, of abandonment, of merciful love that she rested in in the Father. Mm -hmm. And it gives me cause to think, whoa, like, you know, you are who you hang out with. Mm. And so if I'm hanging out with, you know, yourself and other friends in our young adult group who are passionate for the faith, most likely that's going to wear off onto me a bit and Mm. then we all are going to be living christ-centered lives Mm. yeah so even though you can't physically be close to a saint at least spiritually they're around you and these are saints who are in heaven so then their lives that they lived on this earth and are continuing to live in heaven will hopefully wear off onto you Mm -hmm. and then one last thing that you're making me think of is also we're like we're always feeling these moments of loneliness or being alone. Yes. So right now, if you're like, I have no friends, I have no one with me, you have the saints. Yeah. 
that was huge. That was huge for me during my high school and college years because mm -hmm. I know that those years can feel lonely. Yes. Whether you're one, you know, you feel like you're the only one trying to live out your faith mm -hmm. or if you're curious about getting closer and growing deeper in your faith, but you have no one to talk to, look to the saints. Look, you know, mm -hmm. they, they lived similar lives and ask for their intercession. Ask them to help lead you to Christ in that journey. Um, it's mm -hmm. been, it's like, like I said, growing in friendship with them. It's, there's nothing but good fruit that comes yes. out of it. Their powerful intercession in heaven. Yes. And they help, like you were saying, what I didn't understand, even like up to like last year's, we're all called to be saints. Mm -hmm. We're all on this path to sainthood. And I used to kind of see them as this like, whoa, like they must have done something huge to mm -hmm. be able to be known as a yeah. saint. And that was one of the things I learned through St. Trees of like, no, it's done mm -hmm. through the ordinary life. We learn these virtues. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing through them as well. Right. Um, of living day to day, sanctifying our days for our Lord that mm -hmm. will help us on this path to sainthood. Yes, and if there's something you're struggling with at home, um, whether that's impurity, pornography, uh, living a life of sin, loneliness, um, lacking in trust in the Father, there is a saint for every single one of those yes. things that you're struggling with because they probably struggled with that here on this earth but because they rested so heavily on the Father, mm -hmm. they were able to receive, you know, St. Faustina was able to trust so immensely in the Lord. Right. So we can turn to her if we're like struggling with trust, or we can turn to St. Therese because I struggled with being childlike mm -hmm. in the eyes of the Father, and so she helped me with that the closer I got to her. So there's saints out there, you just have to take time and learn about them. Right. And they're going to help you with your particular um, individual journey in the lives, like the lives for yourself, the way that helped Mary Fran, helped myself, and they'll help you as well. Yeah. Who's your patron saint? Who I do would, you call upon? I would definitely say it's St. Faustina when I'm lacking in trust. Okay. St. Therese when I'm lacking in childlikeness mm -hmm. and being made low. Oh. Um, so I normally turn to those two. That's why okay. when you were like, oh, I'm going to talk about St. Therese of Lisieux, I was like, interesting oh, she's I definitely know. here with us and here are our beautiful they're not roses but at least we have our beautiful <laughs> flowers here as yes, well yep but it's it's not something mary mm. fran is making up it's not something mm. that's new to the catholic church these saints have always been with us they're with us every time we attend mass yes. they're part of that sacrifice it's the communion of saints as you mentioned in the beginning mm -hmm. always around us ready to intercede on our behalf yeah definitely. so even I'm thinking, you know, I know we touched on a few ways that we can make this concrete for those watching at home, but you know, those useful tools I always like to give those yes. watching. So okay. we talked about um, calling upon the saints. So getting more comfortable with, you know, asking for the intercession on a day to day basis. There's plenty of books on the saints. Yes. So, so go to resources. your local um, religious store and ask someone who's working there, yeah, I want to learn about the lives of the saints. They will help you. Yeah. What else do you have to recommend? Even on YouTube. And mm -hmm. when um, there's a specific feast day, when yes. you know of a feast day, you think like, oh, I want to get to know this uh, saint more. Like, mm -hmm. what's his story? What's her story? Mm -hmm. And there's so many um, really impactful short videos on YouTube about the, the lives of the saints yes. um, that are perfect. Bishop Barron has great resources mm -hmm. on what he calls the pivotal players. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely just look into that mm -hmm. and um, call upon them and, you know, grow in friendship with them. That's what they're there for. And ultimately they will be, they will help lead us to Christ regardless. Yes, they will. And you made me think also mm -hmm. Franciscan Media, I believe it's franciscanmedia.com. I'll leave it in the description below. Every single day they do a short video and explanation of whose Saint Feast Day it is oh, for that day. That's awesome. So that could even be something that you watch every day to just familiarize yourself because again, who you surround yourself with, you become. Yep. And also if you are feeling lonely or alone, trust us when we say that you are not alone. Mm -hmm. You have a saint, a guardian angel, the Holy Spirit, someone is constantly with you the moment you call upon their name. For sure. 
There's so much love pouring down mm -hmm. from heaven on us that we don't even, we're not even aware of. Exactly. There, there are little bodyguards up there. Yeah. Truly. It's true. You and know? our cheerleaders, our yeah. spiritual cheerleaders, you know, cheering us on and guide, helping to hold our hand and guide us maybe off, yeah. off the path of sin and onto the path of salvation of heaven. Right. It's so cool. It's mm -hmm. the coolest thing ever because they've already gone through it. Yes. So they're, they're here cheering us on. Exactly. They want to see us up there with them. They so, do. Exactly. exactly. So Mary Fran, do you have yes. anything else that you'd like to add? Um, no, definitely. I just know that I am praying for all of you. Thank you for tuning in. And um, I pray for your journey here with Christ mm -hmm. and getting to know our saints, our friends in heaven better. Yes. Amen. And... St. Therese of Lisieux, yes. pray for us. Pray for us. Before you leave the page today, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so we can reach this message to more viewers like yourself. God bless. Bye, guys.